Alan, it is what amounts to the Chicago Mobs Hall of Shame, even though it exists in an old Las Vegas federal building. Tonight, the I-Team with a private tour of the outfit sanctum that features Chicago mob weaponry and the most famous brick wall in the city's history. There's a lot of partial bricks you'll see. Bricks pockmarked by a hail of bullets on February 14, 1929, from a wall where seven Chicago gangsters were lined up and executed in America's worst ever mob hit, the St. Valentine's Day Massacre. It happened inside the garage of this old storage building that used to be on Clark Street in Lincoln Park. The original Cook County Coroner's report revealing how many bullet wounds there were. The massacre shell casings on display along with the kind of firepower used that bloody day. And now the largest chunk of the actual Chicago wall is here at the Mob Museum in Las Vegas, where the I-Team was escorted on a behind-the-scenes tour. The Chicago Mob played a role in Las Vegas really dating to about the mid-50s uh, to the mid-80s. But when you talk about like the 70s and the 80s, you definitely are talking about the Chicago Mob being the dominant, uh, the dominant mob group in town. A rifle and a knife from the arsenal of late outfit killer Frank Breeze Calabrese, Al Capone's 38 revolver. The rogues gallery of hoodlums here includes a host of Chicago bosses, but this man is the focus of a current case, Anthony Ant Spilatro, killed in 1986. If you ask the FBI back in the 70s and 80s, they attributed all kinds of murders to Tony Spilatro. Tonight at 10, the I-Team looks into suspicions that Spilatro may have had a hand in depositing bodies now surfacing as this lake near Las Vegas dries up in a drought. Tony Spilatro, prominent in the Chicago Mob Hall of Shame. Tonight at 10, the I-Team with six skeletons found in the lake, a couple of them possibly tied to a time when the Chicago outfit was in Vegas calling the shots and sometimes firing them. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.